Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Now move into next example Example 6 Let x1, x2, so 1 be a sequence of independent random variables each having probability mass function probability of x i is equal to 1 that is same as probability of x i takes a value minus 1 the probability is 1 by 2. This is valid for that means it is a sequence of iid random variables and they are discrete type define m suffix k as the sum of first k x i random variables. So, this running index is k is equal to 1 2 and so on. So, we are defining a sequence of a random variable m k by summing first k x i random variables. For, for a fixed integer n we define another sequence of random variable that is denoted by w superscript n of t that is nothing but 1 divided by square root of n m suffix n times t. This is for all t greater than or equal to 0 such that n times t is an integer. So, we are defining another sequence of a random variables w superscript n of t that is 1 divided by square root of n times m n of t where n of t is an integer. So, this is valid for all t greater than or equal to 0. If you find out the mean and variance for the difference of the random variable of n of t minus w n of s for 0 less than or equal to s less than or equal to t this quantity will be 0. That means, w n of t is 1 divided by square root of n m n of t and uh, the way we define the m n of t that is a summation of x i's and the probability of x i is equal to 1 and the probability of x i is equal to minus 1 minus 1 is 1 by 2 therefore, the mean of uh, x i's are going to be 0 because of that the expectation of uh, or mean of uh, w n of t minus w n of s that is equal to 0. Also, if you evaluate the variance of w n of t minus w n of s by finding first variance of x size using that you find out the variance of m n of t then find out the variance of w n of t minus w n of s 
that is going to be T minus S. It need a calculation of expectation of a x i square then using expectation of x i square and the expectation of x i you can find out the variance of x i using variance of x i you can find out the variance of w n of t then you find out the variance of w n of t minus w n of s. By using mean and variance for fixing fix t greater than or equal to 0 as n tends to infinity we can conclude w n of t tends to a random variable x and this convergence takes place in distribution using CLT one can conclude w n of t converges to the random variable x and the convergence in distribution where x is normal distribution with the mean 0 and the variance t using a central limit theorem one can prove w n of t converges to x in distribution where x is a normal distribution with the mean 0 and the variance t this result is very this result is very useful in brownian motion and this same problem will be discussed in detail when we are discussing the model of brownian motion mm -hmm.